Hi, we're back. Margie decided to make something called chicken adobo flakes. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put some olive oil in a pan and I'm going to toast some garlic. Once the garlic is nice and brown, you're going to go ahead and you're going to set it aside for later. But before you set everything aside, be sure you, you leave a little bit inside the pan because you're going to use it to, to cook some of the chicken and stuff later. Now you're going to grab your chicken and you're going to, you're going to toast it in the pan you just toasted the garlic in. You want to absorb some of the, the flavor from the garlic into the chicken. You're going to brown both sides of the chicken. You're going to add soy sauce, pepper, vinegar, garlic, and bay leaves to the mix. Now you can put everything in pressure cooker and you can cook the chicken until it's pork tender. If you don't have a pressure cooker, you can go ahead and you can let it simmer on, in a pan until it's pork tender. And if you need to, you can just add a little water later on just to give it a little more uh, moisture, let it cook even more. Now that you cook the chicken, you take the chicken out and you let the sauce simmer even more so that it thickens and becomes a nice like gravy-like consistency. Okay, now you're going to grab a saute pan, you're going to add some oil, and you're going to toast even more garlic. Now you're going to add the chicken to that little garlic mix you just made. And you're going to debone it. And you will shred the chicken so that it kind of like looks like a, you know, the flakiness is where that comes from. Now that sausage you thickened up earlier, now you add that to the chicken. And you cook it until, you know, just a little while until it heats up and, you know, blends in really well. Grab this little black cauldron with a little plate that you put over a fire you heat up. And you're going to put some butter on this plate. And then on top of the butter, you're going to put the chicken. Then you're going to put the toasted garlic that you had prepared earlier on top of the chicken. This is the fun part. This is where I get to eat. Um, I haven't really tasted it yet, so we're going to experiment and see if I can figure out and find a good wine to go with it. Let's go eat. I forgot. We're gonna eat it with brown rice. We try to be healthy that way. So, here is the finished product. Toasted garlic on top of chicken. Well prepared. And I decided to pair it with a Syrah. I wanted something, a wine that's a little more on the spicier side. This is a 2003 Syrah from Michaud, which is out in Monterey, up in Northern California. Uh, nice place to visit. 
Uh, not, as much, not as many wineries, but still pretty good. And we're also going to try something different this time. Um, rather than just let the bottle sit and sit open for a while, uh, Marty got me this Venturi aerator for uh, Valentine's. Basically, it helps open up the wine a lot faster than just leaving the bottle open and let it breathe. So we're going to see how that works. Kissing my wine. <laughs> okay, first of all, I just want to try the wine. Excuse me, sit. I think you made a good choice. Okay, now let's try it. Here. Here. Grab some garlic, grab some chicken. That's it. Chicken double fights with 2003 Syrah. Have a good night. Goodbye. Bye. I'm going to saute some uh, some garlic. Hello. Next step. Hey. Okay. So now you're going to take the uh, you. So remember that garlic that you started out with that you put aside? Well, now we're going to use it. No! Now you're going to grab a saute pan. You're going to put some more olive oil in there. And you're going to do this over. 